Hello guys and welcome to Emily Entertainment. My name is Emily and today we're going to be making shirts with fabric paint instead of actually like sewing the shirts because that's a little too hard for me. Okay, so here are all the things I'm going to need to make the shirt. So I have some napkins, well, paper towels underneath the shirt. So the fabric paint that I'm using here does not go onto my table. And then in here, I have some fabric markers, some large and fine tips on both sides, so. And then we have some more little markers, some of these little, not cans, but like bottles of fabric paint, some cans of fi fabric paint, and our t-shirt that we are going to be making. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first step of this process is to pick your colors. So I think the colors I'm going to pick is red, orange, yellow, and green. And I don't think I'm going to use any of the fabric markers. Um, just because I want to do like a little spray paint. And I'm probably not going to use the cans for this one. But yeah. So let's get started on designing the shirt say this may be a little hard for me because I'm using one hand for the camera and one hand for this but I guess that also makes it a little more challenging so yeah so I'm gonna start off with the red and I'm just gonna kind of go a little crazy because I don't really have a specific specific design I want to use yet so this is pink isn't it okay I just want to show you something this is a pink and this is a pink this one is red but i guess we're using pink instead what kind of rhymed okay but yeah okay so it's gonna be pink orange yellow and green i mean those aren't bad colors oh it's kind of dark i think i also just want to say if this gets on your table and stuff it is easy to wipe away for instance all you have to do is grab like a tissue or something and just wipe it up and it honestly doesn't stain because I have done this before and it will only stain if you actually leave it there because I don't know if you can really see that but there are a little bit of stains there which are actually kind of hard to see on the camera but there are well anyways I'm gonna finish this the red part of this shirt up or pink and I'll be back when I'm going to move on to my next color. Okay, so I'm in, I am finished up with the red slash pink. And I also just want to say, for designing like a shirt like this, you don't actually have to do these spe specific colors. As you can see, there's plenty of colors back there. I just chose those colors because it's the first thing I could think of. And I kind of think they would go a little bit like together. But, uh, yeah. So, the next color I think I'm going to use is probably yellow. Um, I don't know. I just want to see how the yellow goes on with the pink. And, yeah. So, I'll show you how the yellow goes on. And then I'll skip so you can see what it looks like when it is done with, when I'm done with the yellow. So, the yellow is kind of like, you want to like move it around a little bit. Like, make lines. That's kind of what I do with the yellow. It just gives it more of a little design. So, yeah. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done with the yellow. So, this is the design I did with the yellow. Kind of, like, like splotches everywhere. But, I think I'm going to move on to now green. And leave orange for last. I don't know. I just think orange should go on last. It's... Orange is my second favorite color, and, you know, I just want it to go on last, so, yeah. So, I'll show you how green goes on, and then I will show you what it looks like when I'm done with the green. So, green goes on kind of like the pink did, like little blotches. It's kind of hard to see, I don't know. I'm going to put it all in, like, one spot. kind of makes, like, little circles. I am noticing the camera's a little darker, but there. So now I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done with the green. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like with all three colors, green, yellow, and pink slash red, but I'm just going to call it pink now because it's pretty much pink. So 
Now for our last color. Oh, that looks really good with the sun reflecting on it. So now for our last color, orange. And just saying this is not an effect. This actually is the sun reflecting on it and looks really cool in my opinion. So yeah. So now I just have to... Okay, there. Now I'll show you what it looks like with the orange. But I'm not going to show you with the orange yet. I'm going to show you at the very end. So... Okay guys, so this is the end result. I really like how it turned out with all the mixed colors. I actually think I kind of like it better that the pink is pink instead of red. It just gives a really nice touch with all of the other three colors. So all you have to do now, if you are making this, just wait. I usually wait around 24 hours for this to dry because it is fabric paint and it doesn't dry automatically and immediately so you have to give it a while to dry because if I touch it you can see it kind of has like a wet residue but it's not like colored yet so it gives a wet residue and I wouldn't wear this until maybe like two days after it dried so well I really like the end result as I said and I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a lot of fun but remember to leave a like subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you never miss another video. I also want to give a shout out to my brother Brett from Mr. Turbulence 14. Go check out his channel. There are a lot of cool videos on there and even a video of my oldest dog now when she was a little puppy. So yeah, well thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye!